What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So I was sitting here uh, on a, the camera's gonna be a little woo yeah that hopefully that didn't make you too sick. Um, so I'm sitting here watching YouTube working on some stuff um, and noticed that Brian over at Gut Fuels Model Car Garage he did a an update video on our buddy build and I thought Damn it, I haven't done one of those in a while. So, um, I figured I'd hop on here real quick, uh, show you where I'm at on our buddy build. Um, and then, uh, normally I do the whole, like, ah, I'm going to flip the camera around, I'll be right back. Eh. That's why I'm starting out shaky cam style. And then I'm going to go ahead and put it in the holder. But there's a couple things I want to show you first. Um, as you can see... I'm all packed up. There we go. I'm all packed up. I'm ready to go for uh, Down East Con tomorrow. I added the bulldozer. So I was filling out my paperwork, and I, uh, I was like, the number of models I was at, I was at $9 for an entry fee. <laughs> for an entry fee. And I thought, well, what the heck? If I add one more, it rounds it up to 10 that's an even $10 bill, right? So, what the heck? So I added the bulldozer. So I'm also bringing that tomorrow. Not that I'm thinking any... Uh, listen, guys. I'm not thinking I'm going to win any awards or any of that stuff. Um, this is purely to have fun, hang out with my buddies, go to a show that I've never been to before. Um, and have some fun. Uh, also, there's a rumor... Uh, my cousin Christian and possibly my uncle Pete might show up at this show. And if you guys have paid any attention to my videos in the past, you know um, my uncle Pete is the whole reason why I got into this model car thing back years ago. Um, and they're also the reason why I got back into it so hard that I, you know, to the level I'm at now. So, um, that'll be cool if they show up. Uh, oh, the other thing I wanted to show you is I did a shop tour the other day, and I showed you, you know, walked around the room, but I didn't have this little neat feature turned on. What do you think, guys? So, behind my displayed models, I got the blinky lights. I thought, I thought that was pretty cool. Um, in here at night with the the overhead lights that are like flashing everything out um, with those off it looks pretty good I think I think it's pretty cool anyway so let me put you guys in the holder that I normally put you in there we are um, and then I'm gonna add a little bit of light on the situation okay so now that we're back to normal filming conditions, um, Brian and I have collectively, not to talk away from the camera, uh, but you know, editing is not my thing. I don't care. Um, anyway, Brian and I have been working on this model together. Um, and if you watched his video, I don't know. It was like two days ago, I think, something like that. Uh, like he said, um, I had picked this up last year at NNL East, um, and I thought, man, that's a cool kit. Because I've got the 37 um, Street Rod Humpback, and I've got some other Ford stuff. You know, I've got the convertible hull in the trailer, which is a... Out of frame I go. Can't find it. I don't know. That's either a 30, I think that's a 37, 36 or a 37 also. But anyways, this, I needed this to, con, to complete, you know, the set, set. Um, and he reached out and was like, hey, I got that same kit, let's do a buddy build. And he is cranking on his, doing a great job. Um, if you haven't checked out his video, go over to Gut Fuels Model Car Garage um, and look at his video that he did two days ago. Um, so I figured, like I said, I wanted to hop on here and show you guys where I'm at with that. So I, I took a little break from that. I set it aside. Um, 
finished my egg plain. I have to do a separate video on that before I can show you guys because it's a it's a group build. I want to I want to do it right. That's done. Push to the side. Um, the next thing I'm going to start is, and I'm way behind on that, is that. So this is for Cliff's uh, motorcycle group build. And Jamie G sent me this kit specifically so I could participate. So I need to get rocking on this. Um, so this is going to be the next thing in the pipeline. I'm hoping that this is going to be a fairly quick... Man, I'm jinxing myself, aren't I? Yeah, probably not. Anyway, so this is next in the <laughs> in the pipeline. We're going to get this going. Um, and we still have the Jag that's mid-process. Um, I'm not... The plan is to paint that in a couple of weeks. Um, we're going to have like a like a paint day type of thing up here. And a couple of buddies are coming up. Um, going to hang out. We're going to do some painting here. And I'm hoping to get that painted. And once I get it painted and cleared, then I can, that's at the point where I feel like I can keep going on the other stuff. So that'll be, that'll be after that. But this is next. Um, enough with the off ramps. Let's get to the 37. So, uh, where is my, where is my thing? I don't have it. It's gone. Okay. All right. I usually have a piece of wood. Don't know where it went. Um, so here is the stance. I'm going to hold it up for you guys. I, and I don't remember what I showed last time, to be honest with you. But, okay, so that's what we got so far, okay? That's the body is going to sit down a little tighter on the seams, tight, yada, yada. This is just kind of set together. Um, that's the stance we're going for. I may have already showed this. I'm not sure if I have. I apologize. I'm just trying to catch up to where I am on this. Um... We got the trim on the windows done, stainless in the front, uh, the black gasket in the back. Um, it's starting to come back to me. I may have really may have showed you guys that. Uh, so we're going to take this off. Um, there's the beginnings of the interior. There's the bucket seats with the washi tape um, plaid insert. Uh, I made this roll bar today. That's all I'm doing. Just a hoop. Just a hoop. I thought about maybe some legs off the back and I thought nah it's kind of tight to the back and then I thought old school would have one coming down in the front and I thought nah that's not the look I'm looking for either so that's what we're going with just a single hoop uh, there's a VCG um, resins by Reese shifter really cool we got that on there and then we'll take this off and I'm pretty sure I've showed you the chassis before, so, um, but again, I'm just catching up. To, uh, the exhaust ends there. Um, I'm going to make some tailpipes that come out, exit right in front of the rear wheels. There's that motor, that Arden flathead motor. That looks really good. I love the way that looks. Love, love, love. Um, use some parts box headers on that. Um, Got the dual hoses in the front. This is ready. This is done and ready to go. So that's going to be cool. Uh, again, here's my here's my door panels. Um, ready to go. I just need to do like a window crank. I got to figure that out. I've got some stuff in the parts box. Some little little doodads, handles, and stuff like that. Um, so I'm going to figure something out for that. Uh, but that's that's where I'm at. So now that I'm done with the egg plane, let's see, I'm done with the egg plane. Uh, I'm done with everything else that I had going on except for the Jag. I'm going to push hard on the 37 and get that done. I, wa I wanted it done to bring to NNL. I'm going to miss the mark on that. Um, it is what it is. Anyway. But, uh, any, so, yeah, I'm going to push through on that, and then once I'm just about done, I'm going to get cranking on the motorcycle and really push through that. <sighs> and then I have to figure out what's next. I don't know. Um, something different. I'm not sure. I'm going to look through my, uh, maybe, maybe I'll look through my Tamiya kits or my... 
Fujimi kits. Um, I have a bunch of like, boy, I've got a bunch of cool kits. Cool foreign kits. So that might be something that comes next. Anyway, so that, that'll do it. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. As Again, go check out Brian at Gut Fuels Model Car Garage. He just released a video on uh, his like second, third, second, second update video on his buddy build with me. So um, go check that out. He's doing really good stuff with that. And that dude, you already know that dude. Could, if you know anything about YouTubers and model builders, you know that guy is going to build a freaking outstanding model. Um, it's going to be 10 times better than whatever I, garbage I'm throwing together here. Um, so go check out him and follow him and uh, watch what he's doing. It's guarantee it's going to be really cool. Uh, thank you to Market Hobby Nut Models. As always, thank you to um, MCV Products. And I feel like I need to mention, again, it's tagged in the description of every video, but I want to mention it again. Go to Iceman Collections. Um, place an order for the entire month of April. Um, and if you use the promo code 10 BLUE, all capital, B-L-U-E, 10, you get 10% off of your entire order. And I really want to thank Joel for um, making that happen and extending the 10% savings on to you guys. That's super cool of him to do that. So thank you. And go buy stuff and use that code. It'll save you money. So um, tomorrow is Down East Con. I'm all, like I said, I'm packed. I'm ready to go. Heather and I are headed there at the crack of dawn. Not Maybe not that early, but we're headed there. Going to be there the whole day. If you're up in this part of the country, if you're in New England, um, New Hampshire, Mass, or Maine, and you're a fan of my channel, go to Down East Con. I will be there. I'll be more than glad to, to talk to you guys. Um, but go support a cool local club and show, please. I would really appreciate it. Uh, that's it. I'm, I'm done. I'm off here. Um, oh, yeah. Let me know what you think of my lights. I think the lights are cool. I really do. Well, let me know what you think. All right, guys. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye. Yeah, bye. Bye. Yeah. Okay, I'm going now.